We are back with another progress video. Here is progress vid number 41. Let's go. If I sound a little off today, it's because I do or I am just getting over a sore throat. So I have a bit of phlegm, I guess, in my system still. But besides that, uh, the progress video today is going to be an interesting one for a couple reasons. My voice and also I am going to be testing out a couple of weapons like the Rune Longsword and the Addy Skim. No one really uses them when it comes to melee training, so that's why I had that idea. A lot of players, including myself, would just stick with the Rune Sword or the Rune Skim. Or that purple mace from the underground place. Not sure what the name of it, but I will also put it on the screen for you guys so you know what I am talking about. I knew I wanted to try something different for this progress video. It's been a while since I did anything different or new. So I figured I would test out the two weapons that I mentioned already and go from there. Since I have the Rune Longsword, I figured Lesser Demons would be a good place to start. The Rune Longsword does provide a good slash bonus compared to the Rune Sword, so that's one of the reasons why I wanted to come here to Lesser Demons. I also wanted to try my luck with the Rune Medhelm. I did spend close to two hours around there. I decided to move on to the Addy Skim. Like I said already, the Addy Skim was the next weapon to test so. We all know that the main food source in F2P, the popular ones anyways, are lobsters, salmon, trout, swordfish, and even kebabs, or kebabs would even be one as well. But there is one food that I never ever ever used on any of my accounts, unless I got it from a random event, because you can get pies from random events. Uh, pies is something I never thought of getting into until now. One of the reasons why I thought of getting into pies, the apple pie specifically, it heals 14 HP. I had no idea that apple pies gave 130 XP per pie and cooking XP. It heals the same as swordfish, so that's why I took an interest in it. Yes, I may have to click twice to get my full 14 HP back, but the clicks are not even noticeable because they're pretty fast, if that makes sense. I also wanted to come back to Moss Giants. I don't think I mentioned this. The reason why I came back to Moss Giants is one, it's been a while since I obtained any of the Mossy Keys. So getting around five Mossy Keys was the goal here. I ended up passing that goal and then getting more Mossy Keys. I won't say how much I get. My XP per hour in defense, by the way, using the Addy Skim was around 29 to 30K an hour. I also achieved a goal of 85 defense. I think at this point I spent over 10 hours using the Addy Skim. I figured this would be the best time though to switch back to the Rune Sword. Using the Addy Skim for 10 plus hours at Moss Johns wasn't too bad of an idea. Let's just say I almost wanted to just continue using the Addy Skim as a weapon. I might make a tutorial video by the way guys on apple pies at Rhymes. For FTP Iron Man accounts out there, so stay tuned though for that. Finally back at Bryal Fida. It's been over at least two months, I believe, since I last been here. Now, I probably could have used a D high top for magic defense bonus, but I did feel like making the trip to Edgeville to get it, and my magic level is sitting at 74, so I do still have a little bit of magic defense here. But let's test out my luck again with the beginner clue scroll. I think I will be doing this from now on for every progress video, and I will complete one or two beginner clue scrolls. Then in my mind runes though, um, would have been useful if I was training my magic level. I did end up doing some AFK at Flesh Crawlers and Zombies again, mainly to use up my apple pies that I didn't want to waste. I also didn't want to go back to Moss Giants just yet, so coming here was a little break, if you will. I did end up getting two uncut rubies, unfortunately. I say that because I already have so many of them in my inventory, as you guys can see. I see a long smithing grind coming up very soon, so I ended up leaving uh, flesh crawlers and zombies because I didn't want to get another uncut ruby drop, because uh, sometimes I could get those uh, fairly quickly back to back. Before I forget though, let's see the rest of the drops from Bryal Fida. 
I did end up getting two runet bars, which I just high out for some GP. I believe we are coming up on 69 cooking. I wanted to get this level before I ended the progress video because I was pretty close to another cooking level. That was one of my goals that I just kind of like set up on the spot when I was cooking apple pies throughout the video. But because this progress video is coming to an end, I do want to say thank you to everyone who stopped by today to watch my progress video. I appreciate the awesome support you guys give the series, and that is why I keep going. We're currently 34 days and 19 hours in, which is about 833 hours. For my next progress video, I want to continue getting my strength level up to 79, hopefully, and then probably some smithing. I don't know. We'll see. But you guys take care. And then we'll see you all in the next one.